Here's the batting order for the Gators. Langford, Caglione, who will be on the mound as well, and Rivera, who up here in the top of the first for Florida. It's ball one to Wyatt Langford. Are overly patient at the plate today, working up that pitch count early. That's driven deep to right. Evans to the track. And it's a ground rule double for Dylan Brewer. 2-0. That's driven deep to left. Langford looks up and it's gone. A two run shot for Braylon Wimmer. His 11th home run of the season. And the Gamecocks, they take an early 2 0 lead. I'll tell you what, Cade, South Carolina, and they walked 15 times through the first two games. It's been patience and then punishment. Last night, walks were issued before both their home runs, and that made a huge difference in the 5 2 win. It's ball four. He strikes out Stone, and that'll do it for the Gamecocks in the bottom of the first, but they get two on the two-run shot from Braylon Wimmer. That's driven out to right center. Petrie looks up, and it's gone. A solo shot for Cade Curlin. His 11th home run of the season. And the Gators, they're on the board. They trail two to one. Taking on at a high pitch count in the first. And he walks Tippett. Much of that recent success, Dave, that's why we've seen him in the leadoff spot. Tippett goes, and it's over the head of the first baseman, Heyman, and into right field. Tippett. Rounds third, he will stay there. Runners at the corners with one down for the Gamecocks. It's UMass Lowell, five for five on opening day. It's been solid since. Brewer will take second. Chopped to short, Rivera is only play at first. Give Wimmer an RBI. Runner on second, the pitch. And it's ball four. Petri walks for the second time today. They have Petri off the bag. He'll be tagged out for the final out of the inning. You can also expect more production from French if he gets more consistent at bats. You know, he came into today's game just 41 ABs on the year. In the one and two spot. We're 0 for 13 heading into today. Three for four so far. Make that four for five as Brewer goes the other way. No one out single. First and second for South Carolina. The other way, it's a base hit. French rounds third, he will score. Here comes Brewer, he will score. It's a two run double for Ethan Petri. And South Carolina takes a five to one lead. What can't this kid do? Ethan Petrie does it again. I think it's just about time, Dave. We stop talking about Ethan Petrie just as the potential SEC freshman of the year, but the potential SEC player of the year. That time, a nice, nice hit out to right center field. Drives in two runs. Just feels like he, he's such a critical player for this team. Coach Kingston called him the most improved player in the conference. Strikes out here, so that'll do it for the Gamecocks. Drives that to right center. And D. Petrie looks up and it's gone. Into the bullpen. Second home run of the game for Cade Curlin. Second run of the game for Florida. Petrie gave chase the first, didn't give too much chase to that one. Recognized it right as it hit the air, but yeah, just a pitch left on the outer half of the plate, and Curlin does such a nice job with opposite field power. He's gotten the opportunities, Katie. He's delivered so far. Yeah, he's making the most of his time in the lineup. And on the center fielder, lays down a beauty. Fisher will make the play, the sacrifice successful from Stone. 30th round pick of Cleveland. Lines that to center, it's a base hit. Braswell rounds third. The throw hole won't get there. It's an RBI single for Jonathan French. And the Gamecocks take a 6-2 lead. So 
excuse me, over at first. There he goes. And Fisher strikes out Tippett. Fourth strikeout for Cade Fisher. Heyman trying to reach here. He's able to do so. Lead off walk in the top of the seventh. Grounded to second, Tippett flips to Wimmer for one, on to first, it's a double play. A 4-6-3 double play. Swings the first pitch and grounds it through the right side for a base hit. A two out single for Hornung. That's looped over the head of the second baseman, Perlin. It's a base hit for Stone. Hornung headed to third, runners at the corners with two down for the Gamecocks. RBI single that Cabe was just talking about in the bottom of the fifth. Ryapel loses track of that one, and that allows Stone to advance to second. He's gonna intentionally walk in. Yeah, he's gonna be given first base. And from Stone Mountain, Georgia, looking to deliver here for South Carolina. The one, two. Strike three, a big strikeout for Ryan Slater, and the Gamecocks will leave the bases loaded in the bottom of the seventh. That's ripped to right. A one out single for Robertson. Paul Skeens of LSU, he won it last season while he was at Air Force. Chopped over Messina and into right field. It's a base hit, past it, diving tip it, heads to the corner. Robertson rounds third, he will score. Caglione falls down. It'll be an RBI double for Jack Caglione, tack on another run for the Gators. They trail six to three. Caglione robbed himself of a triple there by the trip, but again, this is a Florida team. It took them a bit, but they are finally starting to string a few hits together. Now the question becomes, Dave, how do they perform with more two-out hitting as still yet in this series from Thursday all the way to the top of the eighth inning here today? Rivera for not chasing. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That's pulled to left, and it's off the wall. Caglione will score. It's a long RBI single for Josh Rivera. Another run for the Gators. And they trail six to four. And the one, two. Grounded to second. Braswell on the shift will make the play for the final out of the inning. The game, Gators get two. Average up to 270 now for Brewer. Flares out the other way, and that's a fair ball down the third base line. The speedy Brewer rounds first. He's headed for second. It's a double here in the bottom of the eighth for Brewer. His fourth hit of the day. That's a beautiful bunt. They might not have a play at Wimmer. He beats it out. An infield single for Braylon Wimmer. There he goes, and it's ball four. Grounded a short. Step on second for one, on a first. It's a double play. Gamecocks will get another run as Brewer comes in to score. And South Carolina takes a 7-4 lead. Wimmer leads off third. Call strike three. Slater gets Braswell. And that'll do it for the Gamecocks. They get an insurance run. We'll head to the top of the ninth from Founders Park. South Carolina leads. That's a well hit, but it makes its way to the outfield. A base hit for Heyman. Out to left. And Brewer will make the play. He'll throw it at first. They almost get Fabian. Gets Halter to pop it up. Wimmer battles the mound and makes the play. There goes the runner from first. Fabian. Check swing. Veach. The throw is wide of Messina. Fabian will score. Shellnut down to second. Tack on another run for the Gators. They trail seven to five. And Veach strikes out Robertson. Matthew Becker will get the win. Chris Veach will get the save. South Carolina sweeps Florida.